Hello, everyone. Hello. It's good to be alive. Uh huh. Last night, I came closer to death mm-hmm. than I've ever come. Mm-hmm. That is not an exaggeration. Nope. Not clickbait. I'm not. No. We're not about to fool you. Something <sighs> awful happened last night. Uh huh. Maybe the worst. Maybe the worst thing that's ever happened. Um, we are just now starting to like laugh about it. Mm-hmm. We've been pretty shaken up oh, over, yeah. the, over the past 24 hours. Um, we're going to tell you what happened. Uh, but I just want to say if it were not for Hannah and Liz, I might not be here mm-hmm. right and now. And a lot of other factors. <laughs> you know, the fact that Shane is alive right now is lucky it's on remarkable. so many levels that, like, that it's taken us. 24 hours to even, like, be able to talk about it. It is unbelievable that Shane is live right now. Let's just talk about it. By the way, is my black eye in focus? Nope. All right, so last night began as a very regular night. Yeah, we went over to my parents' house to give Shane a haircut. Yeah. They have at their house... Oh, my haircut. Oh, yeah. I hope you all noticed. He looks great. I hope my black eye didn't... Uh, Take away? Distract you from my beautiful haircut. <laughs> I, I, this is the best haircut I've done yet, so... But it almost went to waste. So we do the haircut. I do a fantastic job. Um, oh, we went there because they have the... The scissors, the, the cape, and they have like a dust buster mini <laughs> vacuum. And we don't have any of that. So we always go there to, to cut Shane's hair. Uh, so I, we did that. We're leaving and... It's like 9 p.m. Yeah. And it's been snowy here in Minneapolis. So my mom is in another part of the house, pretty far away from the door where we are and the kitchen where we are. My dad is upstairs. Um, and, you know, we yell that we're leaving. We go out the ramp and it had been snowing. So the ramp is icy, but we had arrived up the icy ramp. Yeah. So she had gotten up and we we start to leave. And I'm we gonna, just, always... Hold on, hold on. Let's put a photo here of the ramp just so you can visualize. Yeah. This is how I get into Liz and George's house. Mm-hmm. I've done it a thousand times. Yeah. Okay. So... <laughs> Every time Shane leaves my parents' house, I always say, do you want me to hold your chair down the ramp? Do you want me to, like, walk behind you and hold your chair? Every single time he says no. At this point, I don't even know why I continue to ask. It's just second nature for me to ask and him to say no. So I say, do you want me to hold your chair? And he goes, no, I'm fine. I've gone down it when it's been snowy and icy before. And, like, at the bottom, every once in a while, my wheels will slip a tiny bit. But, you know, it's... It's, yeah, I mean, you uh, slid down a little, and a you're little like, Whoa. Bit. Yeah, but, like, never anything that I was like, that was scary. Yeah. Until I was just like, oh, ha I slipped. Last night, and it was like, do you want me to hold you? I was like, no. And I let I, go. I take off, and instantly, I knew there was a problem. Mm-hmm. My chair turned sideways yeah. because of the ice and began to, like, slide towards the edge. And I mean, and this is in a split second. I let no. go, and Shane turns and begins to go forward over the edge. And you hear that phrase that, like, something scary happen- or traumatic happens in, like, the blink of an eye. Mm-hmm. It literally happened in the blink of an eye. Yeah. I realized I was spinning, and then I was going over the edge, looking down at the ground as my chair comes up over on top of me. Yeah. I smack my head on the house, my chair tips mm-hmm. all the way so that only my back wheel is on the ramp. Yeah, your back right wheel. The left wheel's in the air and the two front wheels are in the air. And the chair is wedged with the back right wheel on the ramp and Shane's head and the Jayco arm against the house. And now it was all, again, blink of an eye. I really only processed the impact and then the feeling of hanging, I was, like, suspended, and then really bad pain in my feet, which hit the ground. Yeah. Like, they made impact with the, the ice that was below the ramp. Yeah. I'll let you take it, because I 
I was kind of out of it, I guess. Shane begins <laughs> to scream like he's shrieking uh-huh. for help. And I, I sprinted down, you know, I'm running down the ramp and I get there and I'm like pulling, I'm trying to pull, like he's yelling, pull me back, like pull, yeah. pull me back up. Cause he thinks. Oh, I didn't. Th- yeah. I had to say. Go ahead. No, go ahead. All I didn't think about once I'm like realizing what's happening is that the chair is going to come all the way over and kill me. Yeah. This, chair weighs 400 pounds yeah like and i'm fragile to begin with yeah he was afraid it would just slip further Uh off the house and if it did it would like he would immediately be crushed yeah or he was afraid it would slowly slip and slowly crush him it it was because my foot was bending more and more further and further as i like yeah fell further down and i was like ah like i was screaming like save me yeah pull me back up a lot of swear words. A lot of F-bombs. I was always in pain and I was like terrified. So go ahead. So I run over and I start trying to pull the chair back up. I'm like, I don't even know what to grab at this point because there's nowhere to pull it to. Like and it's, it's so wedged. Heavy. It's so heavy. And it's icy. It's icy. It's- I'm on the ramp and I'm sliding and I'm like trying to, you know, yank on the one wheel that's on the ramp, pull it, and nothing is moving. Like it is not moving. So I'm like, oh my God, I'm actually not going to be able to. To, yeah. to do this. Yeah, and, and her voice was like so scared. Yeah. She was like, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't get you. Yeah. And he's like, just yelling, like, pull me back. I'm like, I'm like, my foot, my help, help, help. <laughs> it hurts so badly. This is horrible. So, anyway. Oh, just for ambiance, before- Chloe is bursting her head So Chloe's off. with us. Yeah. I, I mean, when I when I open the door for Shane and uh-huh. he goes down the ramp, Chloe stands with me and then I close the door. We go out the front door. It's like our routine. So when I ran out the door, I didn't even, like she could have run away, yeah. but she uh-huh. was terrified. She yeah. hates the ramp. So she probably wouldn't have run away. But anyway, she stood there barking, yeah. whining, crying, screeching. My mom had heard the initial crash and then Chloe's subsequent uh, freak out and had come running. So I guess this is all happening like very, very quickly. To me, it felt like forever. And to me, it felt like forever. Like I'm thinking this is like 30 minutes, but my mom came right away, right? So before my mom gets there though, in this split second of I realize I can't pull the chair up and I think from my perspective that Shane is like about to die. You know, I didn't know that like he hadn't been seriously injured yet. Like I thought that he was, like the way he was screaming out of fear, I really thought like this is, he's seconds from death. I need to do anything to get him out of this chair. I was well, thinking Well, I was. Like, I mean, in a way, I was. Yeah. Like we didn't know if the chair would fall further. True. Exactly. So, well, it, looking back, this yeah, is yeah. a stupid thing to do, what I'm about to say. <sighs> but in the moment, I was like burning car, like get the person out no matter what. Yeah. So I also didn't know that two of Shane's straps had broken upon impact. Yeah. So the top le- uh, top left one and bottom right one had just completely snapped. Way to get straps. I know. You had one job. <laughs> you had one job. So he was only being held in by these two. And I'm on this side. I unclip this one because like, I'm going to... I, I <laughs> You were going to pull me out. I thought at that moment that having him tumble out onto the ice would be better than having him be attached to the chair and then, like, I could pull him out, you you're know? Probably, you're probably right. I was trying to that. evacuate yeah. you. <laughs> but then you started screaming, no! <laughs> so she unbuckles me, and that's when I realized that my other straps are broken. And he begins to fall. I begin to fall. But it would not, it would, it would have been a fall that would have broken my legs yeah and your feet were like stuck like i couldn't have gotten him out so then shane was like no no like that won't work yeah hold me in (laughs) hannah is now like wedged in there no i have him like this holding me like i'm on my stomach yeah but she's holding me up so that i don't fall out of my chair while Liz now yes. runs up and begins pulling Yanking on, the, on chair. the chair. And so I'm telling her where to pull. I'm trying to pull from, you know, the front. She's trying to pull from the back, and it's not moving. Like, and it's just not. In this chaos, my, the coat that I wear, you guys know I have that, like, poncho, poncho coat. It got all wrapped around my face yep. to the point where I was suffocating. Uh-huh. Like, could not breathe in. Yeah. Somehow Hannah heard me. Yeah. Going like, it was getting oh, quieter and oh. quieter. <laughs> Cause we're focusing on the chair and all of a sudden he's not responding. So I am like pulling this coat off. Oh my god, this so, is getting worse and worse. Coat comes off. Yeah. Now it's freezing. I know it's heavy nice ten degrees. Like 10. Yeah. So freezing nighttime. Uh I am feeling my foot like 
hurt more and more. Yeah. So we have we have a, a a moment of like I get the code off. Let's, let's calm pause. ourselves. Yeah. Like, is everybody okay? We're stable at this and point. And I was like, are you alive? I was like, yeah. Yeah. Like, my head hurts, my foot hurts, but like. Yeah, fine. So my mom and I like yanked the chair up. She's basically under it. Like she was squatting and it was on her knees, you know, and I take Shane out of the chair. That was our plan. Like we were like, we need to get Shane out. And then if this chair falls, like yeah. it's fine. Liz lifted it or you both lifted yeah. it enough so that Hannah to get in the position that she had to be in to pull me out safely. Yeah. So she pulls me out. Lays me in the snow. Yeah. Because there was nowhere else to lay. There's nowhere else to go. And they then began yanking the chair as yeah. hard as they can. Once you were out, it was easier. Like your weight helped not yeah. being in it. Yeah. But it was so, I mean, we're both so sore today from trying to get this chair out of the snow. So they get it back onto the ramp, bring it down. Yep. Get me back into it. Mm -hmm. And we all. We're just like shaking, shaking. Yeah, like probably because we were like going into hypothermia and adrenaline. But like, yeah, it yeah. was just. Um. So, I lived. Um. I have a black eye, as you can see. Yeah. I have a cut on the where is it? Like top the, of your head. Top of my head. Yeah. Not bad. And my ankle is. And your knee. Uh, my knee is injured. Yeah. Not badly. I'm the but same then my way. ankle is hurt. I. I, I don't think it's broken. Um, it seems to be like a, a sprain or, a tear. or something. Um, I haven't gone to the doctor. I don't think that will surprise you. Yeah. Um, but it, it, it's fine. Like, yeah. all things considered. Nothing life-threatening. I'm fine. And, I mean, since this happened, the only thing we can do is think of everything that could have happened. If Shane hadn't had the Jaco arm, he would be dead. That is the only thing. It's all scraped up that caught the house. Like, if, if that hadn't been there, it's just his face on this side, you know? Yeah, and it I didn't break. It's totally fine. Yeah, Jaco still works. Yay. Yeah, thank God. Uh, it, it saved my life. Uh-huh. <laughs> if you had gone off the other side of the ramp where it's just driveway and nothing to catch the chair, yep. dead. Chair would have tipped right over on top of me. Had, I mean... The fact that it wedged in the house could have even been different enough to, like, break my leg. Mm -hmm. Like, just a little bit of impact that I had messed up my ankle. If the ramp had slid two inches, uh -huh. dead. Dead. <laughs> or, or more injury. Yeah. You know, so much could have been wrong. I hit my head hard enough to give myself a black eye. What if I hit it harder, you know? Split it open, I, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. It's yeah. all we can think about. So that's all we're thinking about now for the full day. And it's going to be this, this way for like a week where we're just so thinking of everything that could have happened. We are getting rid of that ramp because A, it gets too slippery. Yeah. And B, the edges are not high enough that they stop you from yeah. falling and off. And you broke it. It's all bent. Yeah, I bent it. Yeah. Um, so we're going to have to get a new ramp. System. I think we're going to have someone build it, like a real like a permanent wooden one. permanent yeah. ramp and not a portable one. Man, but I, I mean, I've never really had my life, like, flash before my eyes. But Did that, it? that, well, it was the closest I've ever hung. Yeah. In the sense that I had this, like, really weird, just like, oh, my God, like, this could be the end. Yeah. Like, if my chair falls, I'm dead. Like, <laughs> And I was thinking the same thing, <laughs> standing next to you. Yeah, that was horrifying. But again, Hannah and Liz, I I cannot ever repay them mm. or thank them enough for their quick action. Uh, George, <laughs> it feels awful, and I just want to say to him, like, yeah. I know you would have like helped out if you were within. He missed it because he shot. was upstairs. Yeah. yeah. He comes down. But he came down because he heard Chloe barking. Yeah. And, like, she barks sometimes. But after, I mean, this whole thing happened in, like, four minutes. Yeah, so probably. this wasn't a half hour. So, like, you know, four minutes later, he's like, what is the dog doing? Like, what is happening? He comes down. I'm holding Shane. <laughs> and I hear him yell, Shane, you all right, bud? <laughs> <laughs> he was like, what the heck? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, he felt terrible that he wasn't involved. But it all happened so quickly. And then today, he was like, Trying to get a ramp built already. Yeah, he's been <laughs> told us that he's, like, calling places. So, uh, you know, everyone, I, I just appreciate everyone for saving me and mm. not letting me die. Well, we're all glad you didn't die, Shane. That would have been 
that like yeah i and that like on one hand i'm glad it happened because now i have this awesome black eye and i look like a bat but that was traumatic <laughs> i'm not glad that that happened that was so horrible that was a joke. i'm not happy it happened <laughs> man never a dull moment no so i'm alive thanks to him and lives i'm chloe yeah. Chloe helped out. If we hadn't been there, she eventually would have gotten someone to come help you. So it's, But she's been a little bit upset now for the whole day. She hasn't had a good day. It, I mean, it was traumatic for her to watch. You know, she heard us yelling and she saw your chair tipped over. She knew that that was not supposed to be happening. When we got home, um, she began to tenderly lick my injured foot. Yeah. Like, she knew right away. Mm-hmm. That, like, oh, that's her, you know? Yeah. So cute. It was cute. So... Tell the people that you love that you love them. Yeah. Because they should fly off a rant tomorrow. You <laughs> have no idea. All right, everyone. Thank you. Bye. Bye.